people will get a loan and they will start paying for a house and they know it's going to take 20 years end of it perhaps i might not live there for too long but my kids will have a house right what about the eternal home did you do a little bit it's not a monetary payment it's a payment in your worship and your kindness because your character and conduct would actually help you build your hereafter this afternoon in salat al jumu'ah i read surah al layl and in surah al layl Allah Almighty makes mention of the person who will be protected from hellfire, the one who will achieve ease in this world and success in the hereafter. Guess what he says? The ease that he speaks about is given to people with certain qualities. One of them is they give, they spend on others. Why? Because he wants you to be selfless and not selfish. When you're selfless, you begin to consider the generations to come, you preserve, you build that which you might not benefit from, but others will. And then it's called a Sadaqa Jariya, which means a charity that is going to last longer than your life. The benefit of what you did lasted longer than your breathing on earth. So what happened is you continued to clock a reward even after your date of death. It's a Sadaqa Jariya. What was it? It was your concern for the future. That's what it was. I visited this afternoon a beautiful project, the Brisbane Islamic Center, if I'm not mistaken. A beautiful project. For who? For the future. And mashallah, I was pleasantly surprised to see such concern for the generations to come. And I'm thinking to myself, wow. The reward of this will continue to clock for those who made it happen way beyond their death. And the Prophet, peace be upon him, says, Sadaqa Jariya, which is that type of a charity that lasts longer, the benefit of it lasts longer than your life, would continue to benefit you one of the few things after your death. So the concern for the future. Today we're here at this beautiful evening where human appeal and its work is highlighted. Surely we should consider what's going on across the globe. Because the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, tells us that through your struggles, what will help you is when you help others struggling in a similar way. <laughs> Subhanallah. Are you struggling? Would you like to see your children succeed? Yes. Well, what concern do you have about the children of others? Good question. If it's only about you and your children, it's going to be tough. But if it's about our children, we're going to succeed. It's going to be made much easier for all of us. Concern for others would definitely prop you up in one way or another. So that's why the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, always reminded us, you want the help of Allah? You want the help of your maker, of the Almighty? Will help others. He says, Allah Almighty will continue to help a servant, a slave, a person, for as long as that person continues to help another. While you're busy helping someone, the Almighty is helping you. In your struggles, I mentioned a few of the struggles, be they religious or be they connected to this worldly life. These are real struggles. 